The year is 2006. And did you ever want to rob a bank? Your answer will probably be yes and no. Yes, I do like the never again having to worry about bills part, but no, I don't fancy the flip a coin as to whether you go to jail for armed robbery part. Oh, that is your answer. Then you are in luck. And I am legally obliged to tell you that this video is not financial advice. Anyways, it's 2006. People have never heard of an iPhone. And even if you're in crippling debt, buying houses has never been easier. They still think Facebook is such a quirky name for a website. And in the Belgian city of Antwerp, a guy in his 60s just walked into an AB and Amro Bank. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? My name is Flomenbaum. Carlos Hector Flomenbaum. And I would like to open an account. And I would also love to tell you that you have a very friendly face. Well, thank you, sir. I would recommend opening a savings account. You want some chocolate, son? I don't want to take away your... Don't worry, son. Just take some chocolate. A week later, he went in to deposit more money and some chocolate. He then went in to invest into a fund and got them some more chocolate. In fact, now he went in every couple of days for the next couple of months to do trading with them. And every time, he got them some chocolate. A couple of months later, he even went in to deposit all of his valuables into the bank's vault. And cut them some chocolate. Then, in the end of February 2007, he came in to make one final request. Hey Mark, how's the kids? Hey Jenna. Thomas, looking good in that new sweater. Hey John, Jimmy, Britta, Josie, Felix, Catherine, Josie's turtle. Hey Jimmy, I want to ask you something. Hey, what can I do for you, Carlos? I have this really important trade coming up next week. Problem is, I don't quite know when it's supposed to happen. It'll all depend on the market and on other clients and, well, yada yada. Long story short, I would sort of need access to the vaults at a moment's notice. Will that be possible in any way? I don't know if we can... I don't think that's a good... I don't know if we can... Got your favorite chocolate. Well, count me in, chief. Here, have the keys to the vault. Good luck with your trade, Carlos. March 5th, 2007. Uh, Mark? What is it? Where are all our diamonds? In the vault, you silly. Oh, no. Sometime between March 2nd and March 5th, Carlos walked out of the bank with 120,000 carats of diamonds worth about $28 million. Reaching one of the most advanced security systems that existed at the time. And just about breaking even after all the Belgian chocolate he had to buy. How did he do that? Well, the answer is human error. Because the actual problem was not the security technology itself, but how they used it. The bank basically effed up in five different ways. Hey, right, Johnson. Hello, Mr. Investigator. How could this have happened? Yeah. I don't know either. We here at AB and Amro are all about security. You wouldn't just give someone access to the vault, right? Not anyone. <laughs> Only our most trusted customers. And Carlos was very nice. You should meet him one day. Coincidentally, that is what I'm trying to do. So, say you let your customers into the vault, you have someone to check what they do in there, right? <laughs> we here at AB and Amro are all about security. Of course we have a guard with them during the day, but not during the night. We are downsizing before the financial crisis next year. Financial what? Didn't financial crisis of 2008. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so, so, so you let people just go into the vault alone if they come at night? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Never mind then. But what about the cameras in the vault? You can clearly see them there, right? No, why not? There are no cameras in the vault. We here at AB and Amro are all about privacy. What? Privacy, sir. But with access to the vault and nobody going in there with them and with no cameras in there, they can only access their own security box, right? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Our clients are some of the most esteemed people in the world. Some of the most trustworthy people in the world. Diamond traders. We of course trust them to access only their own secured boxes. It specifically states right there, please don't steal, stealing is bad, okay? So you just let them access all the boxes? Yes, sir. But please tell me that on the way out, you check everyone's bags, right? Excuse Our customers are esteemed and trusted. We'd want to subject them to searching them. <laughs> sir. Okay, 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 get it. But you have the guy's identity and address, right? <laughs> of course. His name is Carlos. And he is from... <laughs> Yeah, no idea. <laughs> Good question. Okay, let me get this straight. You just give some people access to the vault. You don't accompany them in there. There are no cameras in there. They can access all the security boxes if they have access to the vault. And you don't check their bags on the way out, nor do you have any background checks. Yep, we here at AB and Amro are all about security.
According to this article, some experts said that the bank shouldn't have had multiple security deposit boxes in an area that could be accessed by a single box holder with a keycard. Each person should only be able to get to his or her own box. To which, in my opinion, as a security protocols layman, I can only say, well, no shit. And I would also love to hear from the experts that don't think that's going to be an issue and for which bank they were. But now, though we can conclusively say that the bank did everything they could to prevent what happened, it could bring you to ask the question, was this Carlos's intent all along? Or one day did he just realize, well, shit, I could just steal all these diamonds. The answer is, yeah, he planned this all along. Turns out that his name, Carlos Hector Flomenbaum, was not his actual name. Crazy, I know. His actual name is Yehuda Mashali, who had a history of robbing banks and stealing diamonds in the US. He was found guilty by a court in Antwerp in 2009. The only problem was, they never caught him. And so they convicted him in absentia. I convict you to five years in prison. Yeah, take that. Chair. More than half the world's diamonds are traded in Antwerp's gem district, a maze of tiny streets around the city's main train station. There's a turnover of more than 23 billion per year, making it one of the densest concentrations of valuables on Earth. And if you want to have your cut of that pie, make sure to bring some chocolate. This video is not financial advice. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you liked the video, thank you to my loyal patrons and thank you to Richard. If you want your name to be next in the credits of all of my channel's videos forever, do what these lovely, lovely people did and become one of my first 100 patrons. Anyways, thank you all for watching, have a lovely day. This video is not financial advice.